video two here. I made quite a bit of progress since my last video. I think the last time we left off, I didn't have this front V uh, cut in the bow. I didn't have maybe the front sides on. I'm not sure. Um, but here's what we got so far. It's the front end. Uh, I don't know what size pipe this is, two and a half, three and a half, something like that. Um, some diamond plate front bow step. Got the sides on. This one cocked on me a little bit. I didn't catch it in time and couldn't pull it back. Whatever. Not the end of the world. So those fishing rod holders will just lean out a little bit more than the other ones, big deal. So here's how the boat tapers down in the back, like that. Um, smoothed off some welds, I gotta sand it out a little bit. I gotta make a cover for here, cover that off. Uh, remember last time I talked about that stringer that was sitting high? Um, I cut this out and cut it out from there to there and put a new piece in just to make it right. And come over to this side. The boat really got sturdy when I uh, got these inside, inside pieces on. That flat nose piece up in the front of the bow turned out to be a lot taller than I wanted it to be. I don't know how probably because I'm not going off plans and I'm just kind of whipping this shit out but um, I'll put a 32 inch LED light in there I'll recess a box in there as that should help break up some of the some of the height in there I just don't like the way it looks it bothers me um, this one is all welded up stayed straight um, the welds over here look a little better I found a different a different rhythm I guess I can keep in in my head when I'm welding and it helps make the welds look better. Um, remember last time I talked about being scared to death to cut the bow? Well, that's because I messed up. I talked about using a laser and shooting it up there and tracing it out, but I didn't for some reason. I don't know if I had a brain fart or if I was in a hurry. Usually that's my problem in a hurry. And I just started back here with point A, went all the way up there went over four inches, made a mark, and then drew a straight line on both sides. Folded the bow up, had a big ass huge gap. No big deal, I'm welding in um, patch panels, I guess you could call them. Um, then I flip the boat over and weld it from the underside, and then that whole area gets covered up with a two or two and a half inch angle iron as a keel, so <clears throat> I'm not too worried about it. But um, everything's coming out good. So far, are good enough for a hair lip, like my buddy says. Um, it's still a big boat. I don't know uh, what else to talk about here, really. Um, I'm sure people, I always wonder when I watch videos, you know, how much stuff costs and where you get your metal and all that stuff. Well, I'm in Minneapolis. We have Discount Steel here in town, which is an awesome, awesome, awesome place. They bend shit, fab it up, weld it, shear it. They have everything in stock. It's incredible to have a place like that at our at our uh, disposal. Um, so, so far what you see here, um, which is 3 16th bottom plate, a 12 footer, and are they two 10 footers? Two 10 footers, um, all the sides, the gas tank, which I already have formed up, the pipe, the bow cap, everything um, I think I included about I want to say three hundred dollars in forming for the sides uh, though all those stringers plus like four more stringers I have in the in the garage uh, for a different I guess I could they're leftover so I could have them for a different different boat if I want and all I did is take those stringers and cut those pieces out of them and made that so all these bends all the aluminum I bought it at 29 percent off um, and I think I have $3,800 into this so far. Um, I think that's a pretty damn good deal. I did, did look around online. I wish I lived over in Fort Lauderdale or something like that where you could go right over to ADI and buy 20 foot sheets, eight foot wide and just cut way down on the welding, but I don't. But so far, it's turning out good. I'm happy. Um, yeah, I'll just keep plugging away. I made tons of progress this weekend. Tons of progress. Uh, before this weekend, 
there was no no gunnels on, no bow plate. Uh, yeah, so I I rocked it out pretty good this weekend. But maybe um, someone can tell me what I can use to grind the aluminum. So I'm using these four and a half inch flapper discs, and they suck. It takes forever to feather this out. I don't know if uh, Riker Weld, he's been very helpful with me so far, uh, going into detail on what I should use, what I shouldn't use. Uh, just so you know, where did I put it? Sorry for the Blair Witch Project here. I bought one. It's a cool little tool. Uh, it's got a guard on it, so I can keep my fingers. I like it. But uh, Riker, if you can tell me what to use to, to grind these welds or smooth them out better or faster than what I'm doing, I'd be uh, very interested to hear how that works. But anyways, this is where we're at. I'll post another video when when I get farther, which I think next time you'll see the video, I'll probably have uh, some trays in here for rods or storage or whatnot. Um, I want to come off the back and make a transom shelf, and then I want storage underneath there. But I'm getting to the point now where I can um, finish welding out the inside of the hull, find a way to flip it over, bring it back in the shop, weld it up, flip it over, and uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Talk to you guys later.